Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Rebecca, another quick video. Well, it's been quite a while since I brought you guys a cheap but good fragrance video. I actually found one the other day at Marshall's. 100 mil was only $12.99. Which cheap but good fragrance am I talking about? Stay tuned and find out. All right, guys, so this cheap but good fragrance I mentioned before is from the house of Gemina B. Paris. It is Equivoque VIP Men. So I couldn't find a lot of information on Equivoque VIP Men. Uh, I do know it's from the house of Gemina B. Paris, and I do know it's an eau de toilette concentration. All right, so here are the notes for Equivoque VIP Men. In the top, we have lavender, bergamot, and cardamom. In the mid, we have tobacco, tea leaves, and violet. And in the base, we round things off with musk and apple. Yeah, so like I mentioned before, I don't have very much information on this fragrance. I couldn't find uh, much at all, actually. I had to email the company to get the note breakdown, but that's about all I could find. So I was at Marshall's the other day, and like anybody else, you know, you kind of walk around and look at all the fragrances they have to offer. Uh, this one happened to be out of the box, so I, you know, popped the cap and stuck my nose in the nozzle, and it really did remind me of another fragrance. So after a couple of sprays, my nose told me this was a clone of CH Men Privé. I mean, to my nose, it smelled just like CH Men Privé, and also, if you kind of take a look, the bottle kind of looks similar to CH Men Privé as well. So for the first couple of days, I really did think, maybe you just played a trick on my mind, but I really did think this was a clone of CH Men Privé until I got the notes. So I don't really know if Gemini B meant for this to smell like CH Men Privé, but to my nose, you know, just from the first impressions, I thought it really was pretty close. So somehow this fragrance comes off like CH Men Privé because it does smell like it has the whiskey note, like it has some leather and some tonka bean, but the only few notes that it really shares is cardamom and lavender and I believe some citrus notes. So the notes in VIP Man that I think make it smell similar to the leather and to the whiskey note in CH Men Privé are going to be the violet, the apple, and the cardamom, I think, anyway. Uh, I'm not an expert, uh, but you know, if, you, if there's any experts out there, please, you know, rewind the video and, and look at the notes, and please tell me if there's other fragrances out there that have this note breakdown, because if this is a clone of something else that I just don't know what it is, yet I'd love to try the original. So guys, like I mentioned before, this does really remind me of CH Men Privé, but it doesn't really share any of the notes. Um, but what it does have is a very nice apple note in it, cardamom. The violet note kind of gives it a sort of a Fahrenheit kind of smell. So it has a little bit of like that Fahrenheit DNA in it, but it's in the back and it really does. I think it kind of lends it to that leather smell that I'm getting. Um, but this is nice, guys. If you like CH Man Privé, you're gonna love this fragrance. And this thing is $12.99 for 100 mil. Now I did find these on eBay for about 25 bucks. Not really sure if it's worth 25 bucks just yet because I, you know, get your nose on it first, but to my nose, it does remind me a lot of CH Men Privé. A 1.7 ounce of CH Men Privé is around $35, um, you know, online. So, you know, not really sure if you want to spend 25 on this when you can just spend 35, you know, 10 bucks more on a bottle of CH Men Privé. But then again, I don't know if this is supposed to be even be a clone of CH Men Privé. I'm starting to think it's not because they, they went out of their way to use different uh, notes but it smells very, very similar. So if nothing else, this is just a really sexy fragrance for $12.99. So I want to describe this fragrance to you guys, but honestly, it really does smell like CH Men Privé, but it's just, it's different. It has different notes in it. You do get the violet and the apple, the tea leaves, and that cardamom, and it really does. Somehow those notes give it a CH Men Privé, like that leather and the whiskey kind of smell. So this does smell boozy, and this does smell kind of woody. Very sexy, guys. I do recommend this fragrance for date night, uh, even for work, because it, this thing doesn't have beast mode uh, performance. I mean, it's $12.99 if you get it at Marshall's, um, $25 bucks if you get it on eBay. Uh, but for $12.99, this is a great fragrance. I think it's sexy enough to wear for date night, kind of close quarters, and definitely safe enough to wear at work. So for the first couple of hours, I actually got a decent little projection bubble from this one, about foot, foot and a half, you know, for a couple of hours, which is pretty good for a $12.99 fragrance. And even after that first strong couple of hours, I did get subtle wafts of it for the next couple of hours. So overall, I got about six hours of longevity with this fragrance. Uh, it really doesn't quite make it through a full work day, uh, but for $12.99, six hours is pretty good. So this is a cheap but good fragrance because it's $12.99, um, but you know, would I recommend going on eBay and buying it for $25? I'm not really sure. Um, really all, you know, this whole video is really based on the fact that it's $12.99 because that's what makes it so great. It's cheap. $12.99, $13 for a fragrance that smells, to my nose, very similar to CH Men Privé. And you know, CH Men Privé goes for around $35 or $40 bucks for a 1.7 ounce. So this is a steal if you can find it for that price. If you have $25 bucks laying around and you just want to give it a try, I think it's still a good price. But if you already own CH Men Privé, don't spend your money. Just either buy this one or that one, but I wouldn't get both. 
So has anybody out there tried Equivoke VIP men from the house of Gemina B. Paris? If you have, let me know your experience down in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you liked this video and want to see more videos like it, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider signing up for notifications by hitting that notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to find out. Please follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. Please like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.